Hi everyone, it's Nicole here with the Mama Elephant Designer Series project featuring the brand new Bloomsy stamp set and Creative Cuts dies. And for my card share today, I created a relatively one kind of two layer card with a watercolor effect. And I'm going to show you how I created that. I stamped the banner on some Tim Holtz watercolor paper using the Antique Linen Distress Ink. I wanted the outline to be pretty faint and then I, I'm using a fine tip paintbrush that's barely damp. I don't want it dripping wet because I didn't want too much distressing with the watercoloring. And I pulled some of that color in from that outside stamp line and then anything I wanted to darken, I'm just picking up from my stamp pad and adding some shading. It's really quick and easy way to watercolor. So this is pretty faint. And then I have already stamped and cut out a banner from some masking paper as well. Now using some of the distress markers, I'm going to stamp the flowers from the Bloomsy stamp set onto this watercolor paper. And I masked it off. Originally when I was imagining my card, I thought I would want it all one layer. And so by masking it off, it keeps from having, it looks like the, the banner is on top of the wreath. I didn't want the florals to go over the top of it, if that makes sense. That would have been fine, but I felt like my florals ended up being so vibrant that the wreath, or the banner rather, got lost in the floral wreath arrangement. So I stamped it again and colored it in exactly the same way that I did and die cut it with the coordinating die and popped it up with some foam adhesive. So just a slight difference than, than what I'm actually doing here. You could do it either way. And I would have left it this way if I had done the banner a bit darker. Now you may notice that the stamping with these distress markers, the inking of them and everything, it may not come with a really clean stamped impression. For this technique, that is exactly what I want. I can take a damp paintbrush then and pull those colors and smooth it out and really make it look watercolored and very pretty, very soft and distressed. So I'm not too concerned with having a really great stamped impression. Just the general idea of the florals works well for this technique. Like these leaves are more of an they're an outline design and not a solid stamped image, but I can just pull that color from that outside stamped line to the inside of the design to fill it all in. And this flower didn't stamp perfectly, but once I blend it with a little bit of water on a damp paintbrush, it is very nicely blended and shaded and looks perfect. I thought it would be fun to use a, a bright assortment for a summertime type of wreath arrangement for my card. And I'm simply just filling in with the fun floral stamps from the Bloomsy stamp set. Now I did end up using a bit more water on that purple flower and in the finished photos you may have noticed that some of those have a little bit more distressing than others. That's perfect. I, I don't want it to be an exact. I want it to definitely look kind of like a hand watercolored type project, like a freehand watercolored project. I'm not very artistic in that type of way, so by stamping and, and blending out my distress markers or distress inks this way, it makes me look like I'm more of an artist than what I actually am. I love techniques that allow you to do that. And I've mentioned it before, but I'm very much loving the whole watercolor look right now. So it's fun to find ways to use my stamps and supplies to create watercolor looks and effects. I'm going to speed through the rest of the creation of my wreath so we can get to the rest of the card.
This would also be a fun dimensional card if you used, if you stamped all of these individually, either watercolored or with a different type of stamp ink, and then die cut them with the coordinating floral dies and then put them together into the shape of a wreath. So many fun ways to use this great stamp set. Now once I have all of my florals in place, I can remove that mask and I'm ready to stamp my greeting. I did end up filling in with a few more greenery type things and flowers here and there once I removed that. I'm just going to use a nice black ink. This is from My Favorite Things to stamp the To You With Love greeting there. And then I'm taking one of the teeny tiny coordinating stamps that's like a center, center for the flowers and stamping with my Mode Lawn Distress ink and creating some centers and some dimension for some of these flowers. You can see I added quite a bit of greenery there. Quickly adding all of that. just here and there to really fill it in and make it nice and full. I'm going to take a white pen now and add just even more detail to a few of the flowers, some of these smaller ones where I didn't add additional stamping to the center. And quickly, with the Wink of Stella glitter pen, adding some glitter to those larger florals. You want to do it quickly because the liquid in that can cause the Distress ink to move since they react with water. So I just do it really lightly and go over it real quick. And here I decided I need a, needed a bit more greenery, so I'm going to use some of the smaller greenery and leaf stamps from the stamp set to fill in. Again, exact same thing. I stamped a whole bunch of them and then I dampened my paintbrush and quickly filled them in added some little dot detail to really make it look nice and full. With the tip of my brush after I blended all that greenery in and it still had some green on there. And that is basically it. I'll show you real quick. I did add some foam adhesive to the back of the die cut banner. And instead of redoing any of my card, I just simply placed that right over what I had done on my card and secured the ends with some glue dots with foam adhesive in the center and then pop that whole stamped piece up with foam adhesive on a white note card. Thanks for watching this designer series project featuring the Mama Elephant Bloomsies stamp set and creative cuts dies. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. For additional videos featuring stamping and scrapbooking here on my channel.